Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate your time. Uh, this is Bronze Dragon bringing you some news on the Hive blockchain. This time it's been about the game Golem Overlord, which is relatively new. It's almost two weeks year, uh, two weeks uh, old at this point. Uh, I've been playing it, had pretty good, having a pretty good time, um, and I find it interesting that. Uh, the way Yixen, who is the developer, has uh, put everything together and continues to develop it rapidly, um, the main token, which is part, um, continues to hold really good value. And if you look at it on the Hive engine, it's only second to DEC, I think, today. Maybe, uh, maybe first, uh, I don't know, I haven't looked at it lately, but let's go ahead and get into the changes that he dropped. Uh, like I said, he's been uh, developing this rapidly and on a daily basis, he's putting out information about things he's fixed, things he's uh, changed. Um, he's taking all the feedback on the Discord channel. If you're not familiar, uh, you can join the Splex Discord channel and there's a whole section for Golem Overlord, Go for short. Um, and he's been uh, taking everybody's suggestions and basically uh, improving the game as he goes along. But I'm, I've been impressed that he's improved the game at such a rapid pace. He's been putting a lot of hours into this. With that said, uh, today he dropped this information as far as the recent changes. Um, and let's go ahead and get right into it. First of all, um, there are going to be leveling bonuses put into the game. So you're going to get a 1% bonus per level on all stats except for banking and charging station. Um, so let's go over here. So you see that uh, algorithm, power, fortification, faith uh, are all going to be affected except for banked and which is staking and golem charging station. Now I'm sure there's something to do. Obviously you would exclude bank, but um, there's probably something in the background that would prevent uh, golem charging station um, from getting a bonus. Um, but um, if you haven't played this, algorithm and golem charging station figure into how fast you gain part down here in the middle. Um, so as you increase them, your rate at which you mine part or make part um, uh, so you can be able to claim it, it, it's faster. So you fill up faster. So um, it's interesting that um, Golem Charging Station is not affected. However, Algorithm is. So we'll leave that right there. That's pretty simple. And he gives you, uh, another thing I like is the fact that he gives you the equations that he uses. This is a very math heavy game. People who like math will probably like this game. You can get in and he's revealed, as far as I know, most of the equations involved um, as far as how everything's figured out. So you math heads, great game. Um, Okay, next change, level cap and prestige. Uh, they're uh, introducing a level cap to the system and it's gonna be a relatively low uh, level cap. Once you reach the level cap, you will have to burn 75% of your experience of the max level to prestige a level above that. This will increase your, increase your max level and give you give in an effect in the game and later skill points for a skill tree. Um, this will also help weaken the use of multi-accounts as players will have to work harder to progress beyond the level cap. That's one of the things I noted early on in the game, before this change was even mentioned, that this would be a game that I, he's really focusing on anti-bot, and he's not really so much against you having multiple accounts, but it would really pay off if you just focused on one account in this game. So this is another move in, in that area. So, um, and another thing that I will mention is there's been a lot of people pumping a lot of cash early on into the game and they're already at max level. So uh, he's giving them a way to go ahead and continue going. Um, players who are already at the current level cap right now will be able to convert their overflow experience directly into the new prestige level. This means that they may be able to prestige more than once at the start of leveling 1.0.
giving them a significant advantage in the game. However, we believe this is a fair reward for those who are waiting for this feature to be added to the game. Um, so in other words, he's saying it's, it's fair for people who've really invested in the game. So, and you know, these bonuses and everything have yet to be put out, but everything he's put out so far and he's improved upon taking everybody's uh, ideas and suggestions into account and um, he's been very logical about it. So um, there's nothing that would point that say that he's kind of um, leaning towards the whales. So we'll see how that goes. As you all know, uh, be careful with your monthly money and um, decide upon a budget and be logical. Okay, so uh, next change, experience and inactivity. To ensure fair gameplay, um, they've introduced uh, uh, basically an inactivity rule. So as it is now, let's go over to the gameplay. This uh, mining part ticks up on uh, every few seconds, right? And as I mentioned uh, a few minutes ago, uh, that is figured by algorithm as well as charging station. And I think there's a few other things because there's bonuses entailed as well. Well, basically this new change says that you have to log in to keep this active. So you have to log in at least once every 24 hours or it will go inactive. Your account will still be there. It's just you're not going to be ticking up in mining parts. So that's one change. Um, so, you know, uh, you want to stay active. That's the whole thing there. And he announced that uh, the new event is about to begin. And that's the uh, how he's termed Ascension to Glory event. To prepare for 1.0 uh, leveling, we're hosting a new event called Ascension to Glory. This is an experience event. We will announce the details shortly, so stay tuned. So he doesn't give any details on that. So um, I'll put them out um, when I hear about it. So uh, the next list of changes that he uh, put out today is, if you're not familiar, one of the most recent changes is the addition of guilds to the game. So um, at this point, um, just like guilds and other games, it's a group of people who get together and, and it's still kind of being fleshed out. But I do know one, one thing that is if you're in a guild, you have a 3% bonus. Now, I have not formed my guild yet. I'm about to form my guild uh, later on. Um, so I'll let you know any other particulars. But as far as I know, um, I do remember seeing that you get a 3% bonus. I'm not sure if that's a 3% bonus to mining um, or uh, possibly it figures into the claimed percentage like the other bonuses fi figure in down there. So um, whenever I find that out for sure, I will be sure and put that word out. But there's a few changes here on um, guilds. In customization so if you'll note that um, he put a lot more artwork as far as crests into the game um, also noted that uh, as a guild leader you can turn on or off friendly fire which means you can't uh, can or can't attack people in your guild um, invite only and applicants have to bring their workbench. So another feature, I won't get into that in detail right now, but as I learn more, is that workbenches um, are basically like a slot in a guild. You only have so many workbenches uh, and you can only have so many people in your guild. But in this game, um, you can buy your own workbench. So that means that even if a guild does not have uh, enough workbenches, you can go join a guild because you have your workbench and if you leave a guild, you take your workbench with you. However, I also saw Yixen or somebody else on the thread say that the guild, this does not extend the maximum amount of people in the guild. So workbenches and maximum amount of people in the guild are two different things. So um, more to come on that, however. Um, I just discussed friendly fire. The invite only switch, this setting allows guild masters to control who can join the guild, ensuring that only trusted members are allowed in. And we just talked about the workbench. Um, guild masters can now send invites to potential members directly from the guild page, making it easier to expand the guild. And guild masters can now pass on the leadership role to another member. 
So uh, I saw that the guild invites went live because I started getting spammed with guild invites. Um, so very handy because one of the things, if you've ever been in an MMO, one of the, the things that you um, kind of, it's a problem a lot of times is if what happens if your guild leader goes, um, uh, stops playing, you know, uh, he goes AWOL and um, then you're stuck in a guild and there's nobody actively leading it. So uh, he's built in some protection features here. So, um, so it just gives you an example uh, of the leaderboard um, is put into place as well. Uh, workbench changes. The user workbench requirement members who have a personal workbench can now be accepted into a guild even if the guild doesn't have enough workbenches as long as there's space for them. So once again, back to my point on having a workbench and having enough space in the guild for the person. Applications. Guild masters can now see how many workbenches an applicant owns before accepting them into the guild. All other applications will now be automatically voided when a member gets accepted into another guild. That's handy, so you don't have to go click through them. Uh, max workbench increase. We've increased the maximum number of workbenches for guild bunker levels, so guilds can now expand even further. So we're going into the situation where um, he's kind of building out how guilds advance and increase their level, increase the amount of people that can be in the guild, also increase the amount of workbenches. And as we go forward, we'll see, you know, what other kind of benefits there are to being in a guild. And I'm sure he's working on it now. Oh, I just hit my uh, microphone. So with that said, this has been Bronze Dragon with uh, your Golem Overlord news. If you stuck with me this long, I do appreciate it. Please leave me a like and subscribe. And um, if you're thinking about joining the game, use the link that I have in the show notes. It helps me out a little bit and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So with that said, I hope you all are happy and healthy and I will see you on the flip side.